I've been involved with CAFE, the parent organization, since 2011. I was one of the co-founders. We've got hospitals, we've got clinics, we've had police even um, referring men uh, to us. We've had women shelters of all places. The men are in uh, various states. I mean, there's no one size fits all. We've had men who were suicidal. Uh, we've had men who, um, uh, you know, came in here, they were extremely desperate, they had tried to get support from other agencies, uh, they had called the police in some cases. Uh, I'm referring now to men who have been victims of domestic abuse or family violence. They call the police, the police ridicule them. Seriously, the police tell them that as the man is the big strong man, there's no way that they could seriously be in physical danger from a, a female partner. We've had dozens of men who report that. Um, and so they come to us because they're in a state of complete desperation, totally overwhelmed, uh, totally uh, feelings of hopelessness. And we hear this over and over again. This isn't just one or two anecdotes. This, this is systematic. Um, is that the police have a pro-arrest policy or a pro-charge policy. And the way they apply that is that regardless of the details, they don't ask any questions, they just take the man out of the house, oftentimes charge or arrest him for a crime, despite all the evidence to the contrary. Even though he's the one who called the cops saying oh, yeah. that his wife or girlfriend hit him. The gender of the person who reports the incident appears to have no effect on the way the police treat the uh, the domestic uh, allegations.